Hi everyone, it's Jenna here for NBK Designs and I want to talk to you today about watercolor. We are going to do a challenge at the oldscraps.com um, about watercolor, showing casing watercolor and she released two products, watercolor art number one and the watercolor art number two and we wanted to show you some techniques for to use more watercolor in your pages. So I have this page here that I did and um, it's very, um, you know, very watercolory. I love watercolor. I like to use real watercolor, watercolor and I think more we do in our pages is, is better. And if you want to give more that subtle artistic look which is i think watercolor is not so harsh as acrylic paint and all this other, other, other so let me close this and show you um first what we have so in the watercolor one art one we have this png watercolor images so i wanted to show you that you don't have to use just the color you have here how you can use them so we have this one here and if we drag to the paper and i'm using a paper from the love forever collection the solid paper pack so right here you can see that it is kind of like you brush the watercolor on the paper and you can duplicate that and do like that or you can put one on the top of the other and you can use the top with a blend mode and if you just use one and it's on the top of the paper then it's gonna really seem that the paper was stained which is really cool when you can still see all the texture of the paper so then you can put another one on top and put another blend mode um, then you can create your own kinds of watercolors so i'm gonna put this back to normal and also what we can do is we can change the color and there is many ways you can change the color um, you can go here and suppose you want a more soft pink then you can go to edit, fill, preserve transparency, and you can change the color. Another way you can do is go in here and choose a gradient, not a gradient, a solid color, and just clip in the solid color to the watercolor like this and the possibilities are endless and again you can later come here again and change you know whatever you want to do so you have other ones that you can use with this one and you can give different effects on your page so we here clipped but if i put this on top unclip this then you're gonna see here and then again you can use blend mode if you want so and it creates this effect here the watercolor does when touch another watercolor which is nice so that is a watercolor art one the watercolor art two let me close this is a set of PNG images, but also you have the brushes. So I'm going to use, so the PNG, you can do the same thing. You change the colors like I showed you. And, but I want to show you the um, brush. So over here we have the regular brush. And I have the set here. And again, as I said in my previous videos, uh, NBK put this starting here, so um, you know that her brushes 
begins and if you have many of hers and you know when you end another set and begin another one um i i duplicate it here but that's okay i'll delete later um so anyway so suppose you want to do a little border on your paper so i'm gonna just put a new layer let me change this color so then you can just brush you know the paper like this there are also other things we can do like this one is a normal um, way the brush is but then you can go to, to the brush palette and you can modify the brush if you want i always have um, wet edges i really like that but if you want to change the angle of the brush um, you can use also texture and you can put a canvas texture on the brush so let me show you the difference and these are um, textures that I buy or sometimes I scan my canvas real watercolor canvas so then you can see there's more texture there and you can see here the difference now that it has a texture also let me take off this texture and this all the sets here so then you can see the difference there so you can see that if you remove everything it changes so you can have a variety of brushes if you use a tablet then we turn on the pressure here and you can do a brush of course i would put a dynamic on this one um, shape dynamic because every time i put the pen pressure it's gonna uh, turn on my my dynamic here so i think you get the idea of that this is another one let me put another color so this one um and put another layer here then what you can do also uh, let me turn off my tablet um what you can do also is go ahead as i showed before put a bevel and emboss also what you can do is go to blend options and if you put out here i think it's control on mac and you can blend even more this brush with the underneath underlying layer here um you can then let me put the bevel so you can see then you can put a little bit of a bevel you can put a you know a texture also even more texture if you want kind of a watercolor texture then you can see now the brush is very realistic so um, there's a lot of possibilities you can do and the reason why when you put the pressure the brush brush this small is that it, i was not putting a lot of pressure it's going to brush bigger if i put more pressure um, so what you can do also you can create your own mask with your brushes so then you have your own watercolor mask so you can go to a more round one like this and i would put black of course you can use her png but if you want to create your own of course i would change here the angle so it creates a different angle every time okay and now you can clip a pa uh, or a paper or you can clip 
a picture, then you have your own watercolor um, mask. Okay. Um, so this is watercolor. I want to show you a new brush that we had, she has in store, um, which is so, so cool. It's called Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle Little Star. So usually people are used to see um, glows already with the color. NBK has many like this, which she calls magic light. So if I go here to the Forever um, collection, Love Forever collection, which is the newest collection, um, she has magic lights that has color already. But what I love about this brush here, let me put the preview for you. Here's the preview. Okay, so let me show you how, because usually people know better how to use a relative color and, um, or the PNG, but they are not sure how to use with a brush. So let me get a dark paper. So it's kind of dark here, so I can't, you know what, I, what I'm doing. So first, let us open a PNG of the Twinkle little star so suppose I want to use this one which is a scatter stars so I'm just gonna drag that make it bigger and then what we're gonna do we're gonna change here to white And there you go okay you can do a little bit of a yellowish star so let me change again and you have that okay so let me get another layer then she has the brushes of the twinkle little star so she has a nice um, this one here. So I have in yellow. Let me put in white. So you can see how nice it is. Let me get another one that we're going to go back to the yellowish. So basically you can convert the glow to whatever fits your layout. And I'm going to turn this 90 degrees. You have an idea. And I really love Oh, this one that I was looking for. So she has like a border. Another layer here. Okay, and then what I can do, I can duplicate the layer. And you have darker the paper is more is going to show. I don't have a very dark paper. So, but what you can do also is go to effects and you have here in a glow. So we can put more glow here and you can choose, you know, the glow that you want and all that. And you can increase even more the glow there. And let me get another one here. It's very big that is nice so we have fantastic glows now and what is nice about the start is that you can work on whatever you have and you can modify the colors of your glow 
and you can play with the glows and the stars in this set. So I hope you enjoy it and um, I will see you guys next time when we have more tips about products. Thank you.